Hello everyone and welcome to a special episode of Chronos Plays Final Fantasy IV. So this is going to be a super boss episode. Today we're going to be taking on Jerion. I believe that's how you pronounce his name. Let's go over my equipment. So we got Adamant Armor on everyone plus Curse Rings. Now Curse Rings are very important to have on everyone because it turns any sort of resistance into absorption. I might have said Curse Rings sucked during the Let's Play and in general they actually do. But when you have combine them with um, adamant armor, they absorb all elements. So that is why we have that. The reason why we have that, because we want to be able to absorb water, which nullifies an insta-death tsunami from Gary on. So we're at Mount Ordeal. You can actually fight this boss in the Tower of Babel, or the Giant of Babel, excuse me, uh, after you beat the four fiends there. But it's generally kind of not recommended. As you can see, my stats are, we're, we're just over 70. Well, we're at 70 with some just over 70. That's still actually a little low. A lot of people recommend you be like at the high 70s, but I want to do this at 70 just to see how it goes. The Four Fiends' malice remains anchored to this place. Will you face it? Absolutely. Ah, I love this song. It's been a while, man. Now, you can see he has actually like a combination between all of the... Actually, we want less first. And then let's do... Haste on everyone. And... Slow on Garyon. We want to do focus on both Kane and Edge. You know what? Cecil, you cast protect on everyone. We're not going to attack just yet. Not yet. <laughs> but yeah, he has the uh, abilities of all of the four fiends. Let's do cry there. You know what? Okay, let's do flare. He absorbs most elements except like ice holy and another one that I'm forgetting. Just use non-elemental magic against him though. Do not, do not use too many. Uh, other don't chance it I should say I have bless on edge because he's so fast that even using a turn to use it is fair enough it's like he's just gonna have that extra turn anyways I did put a uh, limit break on Kane I don't know if that's actually gonna do anything actually you know what yeah he can hail himself in inferno too so we gotta be careful with that, or at the very least we wanna be able to do more damage to him than he can heal. And just for safe measure, should I, I should put Blink on everyone. Oh, right, and... Flow, just for shits and giggles. Now one more for Kane, then I'm gonna have him cast Darkness on himself and he will jump the air. That's going to do a lot of damage, I think. I've normally only fought this guy at level 99, so that's when it generally does a lot of damage. I try to usually avoid the cane focus darkness cheesing, but in general, it's, it's just really good to do. <laughs> now, this guy has 200,000 hit points, so we got to be patient, I should say. We're not going to be finishing this fight anytime soon. And this is on hard mode too, so I did do New Game Plus on hard. Oh, good job. Cursed Eulogy. You wanted to do... Did that not do anything to us? So we have slow... Doesn't have curse though. Well, we will do haste on everyone, just to be sure. And... This is the problem with having... Eh, you know, holy, why not? Okay, darkness imprisoned in me, all that I see. I, yeah, so with Blink, his physical attacks aren't going to do jack. And shit. Bless is still going strong, that's good. You have... It's very hard to tell if he has darkness on. I think he does. Alright, let's just jump. 
Oh, I must have Curse on, because that's a 65% chance of hitting. Yeah, that's definitely not good. I'll probably assume everyone. I mean, Riddy has already done a crap ton of damage to him anyways. Ooh, gas. No effect! Alright, let's wait for... Shit. <laughs> ah, well. Maelstrom this. Yep, that could be bad. So... Yeah, we'll do Kiraja. And then we'll do Asuna. Oh, that miss nullified his... Oh, that sucks. Just waiting to see, because I don't remember if this Suna actually uh, affects Curse. Doesn't seem like it. What does, though? Something does affect Curse. Hmm. It might just be Dispel. We'll try the Unicorn's Horn. We don't actually use that ability. Yeah, Unicorn Horn did shit. I should have bought. Actually, I don't even know if you can buy more of those. So we'll do a another focus on Kane, but before actually doing another physical attack with Edge, we will wait and see what Darkness does to Garyon. Now, there is always a chance that he won't counter with Curse Eulogy, but I don't want to take that chance. Rydia is getting a little low on MP. Shit. Okay, no effect. Oh, wow, Bless did definitely restored a lot. Okay, let's actually wait for her to get enough. By the time it gets to her turn again, she should be able to, like, osmosis. Wow! That was a lot of damage. I loved it. Did you see how much damage that was? Yeah, fuck Edge. We're just gonna be sticking with Bless. Oh, shit. <laughs> I just noticed that, uh... Cecil died. It's all good in the hood, baby. I should put Plink on him, you're right. He must... I don't... I didn't notice that. I was too impressed by uh, Kane's damage. I didn't think it was going to be that high, to be quite honest. I thought it was going to be high, don't get me wrong, but I didn't think it was going to be that high. Because, yeah, four of those will kill Garyon. That's dumb. Wow. All right. Listen. Here, Garyon. Or Gary, if you don't mind. Um, I'm gonna have to ask you to stop doing that. And... There's no way I can get a blink on him. Uh, not without... I did want to do this, didn't I? Uh, osmosis... Edge... And then we'll just do a bio on him, because that should actually do some damage to him. Now that Kane has used Focus again, we'll use Darkness again, and then another jump. If we had hit that first jump, this would have been over already. In fact, it might actually just be over next time we hit that jump. I used Bless again, so it actually would hit... Uh, what's his face? Freaking... Cecil. Okay, so darkness. We might as well hit some flares. We're not gonna do an attack, not yet. We don't we don't want that cursed eulogy to go off. 
Now there is a chance that it might not, but I don't really want to take that chance. Good darkness job there. Now Riddy has done pretty much all the damage in this fight, which is not surprising. Because he doesn't really counter magic all that well, or at least he doesn't counter with magic that is going to get through my defenses. Wait for it. See, this has an instant death uh, connected to it, but since we absorb it, it doesn't do anything. 66,000, alright. And he's dead. Lovely! I believe we get, like, a crap ton of experience points for this, so we're probably going to gain a level or two. Yeah, don't really get anything other than bragging rights for this. Yeah, 160,000 experience points. Man, just imagine if I had level lust on. In one level... Let's do the augments he has. What do you get? Ooh, four intellect and three spirit. That's pretty good. You get a pretty good basis for everything, Cecil, because of your augments. Not you, Rosa. You get shit. And same with you, Kane. You get a good amount. Actually, you get everything. That's impressive. I should really know this, shouldn't I? Ah, well. Well, we've beat Garyon. That's one super boss down and one to go. Well, that's going to be it for this episode, so thank you for watching. If you enjoyed it, press the like button below. If you're not subscribed, why don't you go head over to my other content and see if it's to your liking. Either way, thanks for watching. I hope you all have a great day.